If you haven't tried writing an application to Power Apps without forms, this is your chance to do that and not, not mess with them and do it the, the other way, which is to use patch. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the code window here and show you guys. Let me see if I can zoom in here on the code window so you guys can see that better. So here is the patch function. So there is our uh, request data source. And this is the screen will do an insert. It will create a new row and it will insert these uh, three fields so far. Okay. But I feel like even doing this, we need to step back and like, <laughs> you know, we've just created two fields there. Of course, title is already there, right? Uh, we need to take a step back and make sure this database has been designed correctly. Otherwise, if, if, what a lot of times people do is that they will throw everything into a single list because they don't know proper database design. And what you want to do is break things down into multiple lists or, or database tables and have relationships between those. So there are some fields that say uh, a request, and then you've got comments. Well, somebody would be tempted to create a comment one uh, or just comments. And just every time somebody leaves a comment, you know, no, with each comment, you want a date and timestamp. You want to know who left that comment. So what you have is a one-to-many relationship, okay? So if you create that in, in one list, you create a field called comment one. And comment one, uh, commenter one, and it has their name or their email address and like when that comment, and so you create another field. And you end up just creating this really long uh, field list for a list or database table. And that's not how you design databases and specifically relational database systems. And uh, that's what I have over 20 years experience doing is building relational database systems. And we'll be jumping into this uh, here in this video here. Okay. So um, we're going to design the database and we're going to be using the uh, draw SQL tool. Okay. So we'll be using this here. So let me show you a, um, a system. I was just working, collaborating with somebody on uh, this last weekend. And it is a rental system for equipment for a company, okay? So this large corporation, they've got a bunch of tools, got a bunch of equipment sitting out there. And we have all these mechanics and technicians that need to get at these, these tools. So you have the home office that has these requests coming in, so like tickets, right? And requests coming in for, for something to be done, such as equipment or tools be, being sent out to them. So I created this little thing here using this uh, draw SQL 